All right. Only a four-game slate today. Um, it's going to be kind of hard. Usually, the best maneuver is just to pick one game and stack everyone from that game. But I think it's kind of hard to, to do that today. Before I get into uh, my top plays, I was really trying so hard to trade uh, Russell Westbrook for today. Just do something different. But it's hard because Damian Lillard is questionable with a bad hand. And of course, if Lillard doesn't play, you can look at McCollum and Seth Curry and whatnot. But which one is, is better? Which combination would you think is better? We can do a Russell Westbrook and... Uh, where is he? And for 15... Oh, we can do... Sorry. We can do Westbrook and Wiggins for... He's 5,900. Or Andrew Wiggins, 5,600. We do Russell Westbrook and Wiggins. Let's see, so about that, and that, or, which means down here, if Lillard does play him and Drew Holiday, I think if Lillard was completely healthy, I'd take Lillard and Drew Holiday. But he's not. So I think I'm going to take a Westbrook and Wiggins. And Westbrook goes for 60 plus. Wiggins goes for 30 plus. They're going to combine between like 90 and 100. That's going to be a good pick. So I think it's easier for that to happen than like Drew Holiday and Leonard both getting 50. If, Lil if Lillard was completely healthy. But there'd be locked for 80 kind of thing. So keep that in mind. Uh, my favorite play of the day, I think, because of the Liller injury, is going to be Nurkic. He's just unstoppable unstop right now. The Suns cannot stop big men. As simple as that. And if you think about it, everyone else is going to go, go for Carl Anthony Towns. And that might be an 80-point play. But... In this contest, I only want to do, like, one GPP lineup. So I'm going to go with Nurkic. It'll be a little different. Plus, you can fit more players in. Um, the next pick, I never picked this guy. I think that's why I'm picking him today. No one likes to play him, but Clay Thompson, he's also coming off a great game, which I don't necessarily like. But look at this. This game has blowouts all over it, right? Well, even in a blowout, like Clay Thompson is one, like probably the only Warriors player that would get his value, other than like Boogie. But Boogie's only playing like 15, 20 minutes. So to get his value, he would go 30, 35 points. I think he is 40 in this one. Um, the Wizards don't defend anyone that, all that well. And it's in Washington. So, I wouldn't be shocked if the Wizards kind of make this a game through at least the first three quarters. And if they make it a game, you know, Clay Thompson, I think, is too cheap at 6400 And because of Boogie down low, uh, I have to assume that Clay Thompson is going to get so many wide-open shots. If he's hitting from, from three again, he's going to be uh, tough to stop. So I really like Clay Thompson today. And then this other player I've never haven't played in a while, actually, is Trevor Reza. It's the same game. I don't want to, like, stack this game that much, but I think if it's a close game, not a lot of people are going to play these players. And Reza's been, just been balling lately. And the Warriors, I think they have trouble stopping small forwards. About, about like, middle of the pack. But the games in Washington, I think, is a little help for the Wizard players. And that's all from that game I want to do. And then next, um, let's try to find some sleepers here. 
There's not a whole lot of value right now, of course. If Lillard's out, Seth Curry's going to be like 80% owned. Let's see. Okay, so Jared Bayless or Terrence Ferguson. If Tyus Jones and Teague are both out, and it's looking like Teague is definitely going to be out. Jared Bayless is going to get some run. Now, the splits are different because that first game against the Suns, Derrick Rose had himself a game. The second game, Derrick Rose struggled. So, enter Bayless. Um, Ferguson might be the safer pick. He's getting minutes. Start. He's starting. Getting a lot of minutes. The Pelicans are terrible against the guards. So, I think... For GPP wise, if everyone's gonna be playing Bayless cheap, we play Terrence Ferguson. Also, I think there's one more name down here that I like. Uh, nope, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's see what Minnie has been doing. Not much. Um, Seth Curry down here. Like I said, if he gets twenty minutes, could get twenty twenty five points easily. But I think. The pivot off a of little will be, oh, will be uh, Nurkic. So that's it, guys. So, yeah, you saw him playing Westbrook. Got Clay Thompson Reese with him, Nurkic, and either Baylor or Terrence Ferguson. Right now, I'm leaning towards Terrence Ferguson. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, and yeah, we had a, a little uh, giveaway introduction in the last video. Um, I put all the names in the hats. Everyone who commented, and Mr. Dwayne Fortner is the winner. So Dwayne, uh, if you want your $20, if you could put your PayPal uh, email address in the comments below, or just send me a message through YouTube with it, and I will send it your way. So congrats, Dwayne. Next giveaway could come shortly, could come... The next milestone for subscribers who knows just so hit that subscribe button um, leave a comment um, share the video like the video and um, I will see you in the next one thanks guys